Foreign Minister Penny Wong is on her way to the Middle East now, of course, to visit Jordan, Israel and the United Arab Emirates. But she's come under fire after it was revealed she won't visit any of the massacre sites from the October 7 attacks by Hamas. Here's Penny Wong's half-hearted attempt to justify the decision. I will be meeting uh, with survivors of that attack, uh, as well as families of hostages. David Adler from the Australian Jewish Association joins me. David, how hard would it have been for Wong to simply go and visit uh, the massacre sites? I, I mentioned at the top of the show all the other people who've been, Scott Morrison's been, Josh Burns has been, Simon Birmingham has been. Why couldn't she have just put it on the itinerary? 100% right, Caleb. Uh, this is an extraordinary decision. Uh, it's an extraordinary omission. Frankly, it is insulting to Israel. It's insulting to the victims of the terrorism that occurred on the 7th of October, including the hostages. It also distances us from many of our important allies, the senior representatives from the United States, from the UK, from EU countries, were all able, as a priority, to go to the actual location of where the terrorism occurred. And we, we will actually be quite harsh in the criticism of our foreign minister. She's not just embarrassing uh, the country. This is a dereliction of duty. Um, she has a duty to stand by our allies. She has a duty to inform herself and see firsthand what happened. Otherwise, she might as well stay home and watch videos of, of what happened. There's plenty of that around too. What did you make of the Prime Minister's response today? I mean, he more or less said, look, you know, I'm not privy to uh, uh, the ins and outs of every itinerary. This is a matter for the Foreign Minister. Well, you're the Prime Minister, Mr Albanese. Uh, the Foreign Minister is representing you, your country, your government overseas. Uh, it seemed incredibly um, ordinary to say, well, uh, it's not my problem. Well, I can understand the Prime Minister not wanting to drill down into uh, the minutia, the detail of the itinerary. But let us not forget the dominant international issue for the last three months has been what happened on the 7th of October in Israel, the barbaric terrorism by Hamas and its consequences, which have been a war uh, against Hamas in Gaza and, of course, many domestic ramifications uh, around the world as well. So the number one priority of the trip, above everything else, should have been to go to the location, to see what happens, to express solidarity, uh, particularly with the victims of the terrorism. And that is the business of the leader of the country. And I think uh, Albo, in just brushing it off, is again demonstrating uh, the weakness of his leadership. And also, uh, frankly, um, this government has turned on a whole range of policy issues uh, contrary to our ally Israel, whether it was the removal of recognition mm. of Jerusalem, uh, the change in voting at the UN, uh, giving more money to uh, organisations that are hostile to Israel. Uh, and this is just another really bad signal. Well, we'll see how things develop over the rest of the year, I suppose. David Adler, thank you so much for your time.